Ah, Jay! Hey, welcome back to my humble little speech shed. I'm Drew, maker of the spin on these fat boy wheels. Today I'm going to show all you lucky boys and girls who've ordered a pair of our disc hub wheels uh, what you've got to do to take them out of the box and get them ready to ride because they don't usually come with the axles in for purposes of secure and safe shipping. Cut! Go! So, when you get your wheels, you'll find a little pack like that, something like that in the bottom of the box. And make sure you find it because in there are your front axle adapters and your rear axle and free hub. Now, this one happens to be a 130 Road QR axle, uh, but you may well have ordered uh, a through axle, uh, 142 by 12. Um, this particular customer is riding these wheels on his current road bike before switching to a disc brake later on. So, these are the front axle adapters. Um, if they're 142 by 12, they look like that with a big hole in the middle. And uh, for this particular customer, he's having the QR adapters. Okay, so the front wheel is really easy. Uh, this is what the front hub looks like. Um, you can see there are no axle ends. Okay, and to install the axle ends, you literally just insert them and make them go click like that. So it's that side of the axle end, not the quick release side. Pop it in here and just push it in with your thumb. Done. wheel when you've unpacked it will look like this you'll see here the drive ring this is the ratchet ring uh, that engages the drive and the other side where you mount your disc rotor if you're using disc brakes it uh, looks like that and again there's no axle in there this is a quick release road 130 axle uh, and it doesn't matter if it's a through axle that's the through axle version and it, that would just be inserted in there so this is all loose okay and there's two important things to notice about your axle before you insert it in first thing is you unscrew the non-drive end. Take that off and make sure that this little washer stays on the axle and sitting next to the free hub. Okay, that's the first important thing because that's the separating washer that will enable you to free wheel. The next important thing to notice is there's, a, there's two rubber rings here. This first one is the seal. This is the weathering seal, or the weather seal, I should say, that will keep all the moisture out of your drive system. But this little ring here, you need to carefully remove because this is just a retaining uh, rubber ring or elastic band. Remove that before installing this in your hub. So remember, look for the little washer. There it is, okay? Make sure you slide that all the way through and then from the drive side the drive side uh, is this opposite to the brake side uh, you want to insert the axle through the bearing if you have any problem doing that it just means that the little collet that's inside the bearings might have moved out of position in which case put your fingertip in the other side and just give it a wiggle until this slides smoothly in uh, the next thing to do is take that all the way through you'll find that it stops when the pawls hit the ratchet ring. And a good idea to get them to engage is to just turn it backwards and apply inward pressure while doing. And it could take a while to do, but if you give it a little wiggle like that, you will get it to engage. Important to notice that the seal is now in place, okay? And when you do that, you should hear the classic ratchet free wheel sound, okay? Properly installed. There's only one more thing to do and that is to secure the axle with the end cap. If you ordered a through axle, uh, you'll find that on the ends of the axles, 17 millimeter flats, so you need two 17 mil wrenches or spanners, whatever you prefer to call them, to do that up. With a QR axle, you need two five mil hex wrenches or Allen keys, five millimeters each, and you just use that to finger tight your axle up okay there's no torque setting other than this you wind it until you feel resistance and at the point of resistance you give it a little bit more basically when you can't rotate anymore that's it that's locked okay that's it you're ready to ride all you need to do now is install your cassette here if you've got an 11 speed cassette goes directly on if you've got a 10 speed cassette then you just need to install this spacing converter 
on your free hub first uh, before installing your cassette, okay? You'll find that it's splined and it fits on in several positions, but you install that before a 10, 9 or 8 speed cassette. If you're, dry, if you're riding 11 speed, install your cassette directly. That's it. You're ready to get out on the road and enjoy your new Fat Boys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding.